A local high school community is mourning today after two students died in a car accident. It happened in Camden County Saturday night. Two others were injured. 18-year-old Denzel Hicks and 16-year-old Jeremy McPherson died in the crash. Tony your side's Katie Collette just got back from speaking to the boys' friends. Katie, how are they doing today? Nicole, they are all very emotional. This is a small, close-knit community, and everyone is pulling together to comfort one another after this terrible accident. Camden County High School students clinging to the only thing they have left of Denzel and Jeremy, great memories of good kids. 16-year-old Jeremy McPherson was a junior at Camden County High School. Jeremy, sweetest kid, like... We had Algebra 2 class together and we sat behind each other. Always had a smile on his face. That boy just cracked me up. Friends say he transformed from fun to focused whenever he hit the Bruins football field. Denzel Hicks was a senior. Denzel, he's just, just the greatest guy you ever meet, man. His smile and just the best person you ever meet. Mm -hmm. He's a really cool guy. The 18-year-old participated in the Coast Guard Junior Leadership Program. Friends say he wanted to be a Marine. It's tough to make out the back seat of this car today, but this is where state police say the two boys sat late Saturday night when their friend, Dimitri Brooks, lost control on Highway 158 and swerved into oncoming traffic directly in front of an SUV. Later at night, I got another text that said Jeremy was killed and so was Denzel and Big Steve was hurt. Investigators say Hicks, McPherson, and McPherson's 17-year-old brother did not have their seatbelts on when they were thrown from the car. Family members of Jacob Berry were in the SUV. It's just hard to see all my family going through what they have, and then all my friends just crying. It was bad. Camden senior Taylor McGuire said she couldn't go to school today. It was too painful for her to walk in, knowing two of her friends will never return. Another is in the hospital, and a fourth, Brooks, is hurting in a way few can imagine. We're here for him, and that's what he needs the most right now is friends. Now, investigators tell me they still don't know exactly what caused Brooks to lose control of the car. They say he was not speeding or impaired in any way. Friends tell me he was released from the hospital and did stop by school today. Coming up tonight at 6, how Camden County High School responded to the news of the crash. Katie Collette, 10 on your side.